Mm. Well, hey there. What's going on? Second video. Here we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Guess I probably shouldn't should have changed, right? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. There we go. Now, back to business. Intro. What is going on everybody, Thomas Sorensen here, and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can be creative. Now, I get that that was the title of the last video, but this is not that you can be, which was the last video, it's how you can be, which is this video. And so what I'm going to talk about today is literally just doing it. Like, there's literally nothing holding you back. You don't need to have fancy equipment to go and follow your dreams and learn new things. You don't have to come up with stuff that you want to entertain yourself with or try and make a living with. You can just do it. You just have a fun time. So I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different things that I use personally to make my videos and to do stuff like this, which literally cost me like five, ten, or three dollars. And it's because I didn't want to go out and spend a ton of money just so that I could have fun and make videos for all of y'all. I really just found stuff around my house to do it with. So I'm just going to go through a couple of things today that kind of shows you. In all actuality, there's a lot that goes into all of this, but it's a heck of a lot cheaper than most people think. And I have a lot of just small little hacks that I use personally for filmmaking. And so if you're a filmmaker, you're a photographer, or you at least want to try it out, then I would encourage you to do any of these numbers of things. And they almost all involve duct tape. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first one right here is my pride and joy. This is, this is what I use as my key light right here. So literally all I have, uh, you can't see that at all, can you? So what this is, is this is a guitar stand that I have because I play guitar and all. So I have it, and then on top of this, I have an extremely bright flashlight that I have duct tape to the top of this guitar stand. And that's it. That's how I do all of my lighting things. Literally, it's just stuff that was lying around my house. That's pretty much it. Um, microphone setup, I have it right here. I don't wanna move it too much because I don't wanna give you all of the noises. But essentially, it is a Rode video mic on top of it. It's about $100. I wouldn't recommend just going out and buying a $100 microphone unless you really need one but it's more how I have it set up because uh, after this was given to me as a gift, the microphone, I didn't want to go ahead and have to buy a microphone stand for it. So similarly to this, I have this old music stand that would hold my music. And I had a little tripod right here, as you can plainly see, for my microphone. I got it duct taped to the top of this with my microphone right here. I got a $2 auxiliary cable and that's all she wrote. So that's pretty much it. Up there, I mean, it is a nicer camera. It's a Canon EOS DSLR SL1, the Rebel brand. And I love it, it's a great camera. Like on a $10 tripod, not that much. And then for a monitor, I just use my laptop that I already have. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all that goes into making these videos. And so yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'm just kidding. That's not it. Don't don't even don't even think that. Why would you? Why would you say that? that dang it, Thomas. Why are you so stupid? So that's just to show you. Not necessarily here. How do you be a cheap filmmaker like me? No, it's to show you that you can just find stuff lying around your house to just pursue whatever your dreams are. So as I said in the last video, if it's uh, making videos or taking pictures or if it's playing guitar, you don't have to go out and buy $1,000 or $2,000 guitar, you could go and find a cheap guitar or you could just rent a guitar, find a friend that has a guitar. I know with us staying at home, that's a little dicey at the moment, but maybe ask around. Maybe your parents have old, an old one in the back of the closet or something like that. Maybe you've always wanted to try drawing or painting or something to that extent. Man, just go and either get on Amazon and order like a small paint or drawing set or just 
when things start to reopen up in the next uh, couple of weeks or so, just go out safely with your gloves and masks, of course, but go out to like Hobby Lobby or something and just pick up a small set and try it out. I mean, we have all this time at home. Why not try and experiment and find out what you like and what you would enjoy doing? And as I said in the last video, there's tons and tons and tons of places that are teaching you how to do things. And so I'm going to start doing a couple of small, short little tutorials here and there. I'll probably have a video about several different tutorials. Like I won't make just one video about one tutorial, but there are several different ways that you can just improve upon things that you already do or maybe haven't tried before. And so I would encourage you to do that. And like I was saying, watch YouTube videos, not just randomly searching, spending hours and hours of time. But I know for me, like I've been watching tons and tons of YouTube videos about how to make YouTube videos. And then once I was finally forced to use it because of a school project that I needed to make a video for, that's when I was like, oh my gosh, I love this and I'm pretty good at it. So that's really how this channel was born is just because of dumb luck. But that's the thing is like someone forcing me to do that ignited like a passion in my heart to make these videos for y'all. And so me telling you this, I would hope that you'd be like, you know what, I've always wanted to paint or I've always wanted to write. I know plenty of people that are uh, poet writers or just script writers or story writers that are getting so much creativity time. And I was, as I was saying in the last video, we have so much time to be creative that there's no reason not to go out and try and just create things. And so that's my encouragement for y'all is just go out, find something, Think of anything, anything that you want to do. Maybe it's being creative with how you're athletic or trying to do several different things. Just get more creative with how you already go through your daily life. Just like the last video showed, like we are pretty much just going to sleep, waking up, sitting on our phone or laptop, watching videos, doing a little bit of school or a little bit of work and going back to bed and just repeating the whole process. And we've been at it for like a month and we might be at it for even more months. And so we're just going to slowly and slowly just start deteriorating our creative mind if we don't keep the juices flowing. I'm giving myself a personal challenge since I am a photographer that I am going to take one photo every single day, not just one photo, but one photo that I wouldn't mind posting and that I would love and that is good and creative and different from each other one every single day while I'm in quarantine. That's the challenge that I've given to myself. And it's kind of hard. And some days, like even today I'm making this video, I have a huge project due by like midnight tonight. It's worth an exam grade. I've barely started. Don't tell my teacher that she'll kill me. But I'm still here because I still wanna make this video for you because I can take a couple hours out of my day to be able to do it just to provide you with some content to watch during this quarantine time. Just go out. Find something to do and then share it. Don't just keep it to yourself, man. I mean, if that's journaling, if that's writing music, if that's playing music, if that's learning a new instrument, if that's um, learning a new skill like wood, like woodworking, like I was saying, or another handicraft kind of skill, or you go out and you build something or go out and create something, or you pick up a camera and start doing stuff like this. Just share it, man. Just do it and do it well and just learn how to do it. Watch YouTube videos, just like I said, Watch videos like this, only not necessarily this one again, because I'm not going to teach you how to use a camera in this episode. But go out, find some videos, man. I mean, it'll 100% pay off. I completely promise it. I would love to show and share you like a vlog for today, but, and I know that I said I was going to, but in all actuality, I've had a very boring day. I've just had school and I need to stay up for several more hours and keep working on projects. So I don't think I'm going to share that with you today unless you really just want to see like a couple of different time lapses of me doing work on my laptop, which no one really wants to just watch. So I'm just not going to post it. So don't worry about it. But coming very soon, probably, probably this weekend or early next week, I'll upload my first vlog, which will give you a little glimpse into my daily life past just doing school and how I try and stay motivated, how I try to stay creative and just give you some, maybe some good, just practical tips of how you could do that for yourself. So for realsies this time, it was great to see you, great to talk to you. I've already gone a little longer than I had planned on going, but I will hopefully, hopefully see you in the next video. I hope that this encouraged you or you gleaned something out of this whatsoever. But yes, that's my encouragement. Go out. Never mind. Don't go out. Stay in. 
and be creative, do something, find your niche, find something, and start sharing it. We have so much time, just go for it. This has been Thomas Sorensen, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.